So atoms are the fundamental building blocks that make up everything in the universe, right? Atoms combine to make molecules, and molecules combine to make everything that there is in the universe. All the stuff around you is made up of these invisible little building blocks. What you're seeing in the dome right now is a simulation of the Earth's atmosphere, OK? So all these little dots on the screen that you can see are atoms, OK? Does anyone know what atoms are made out of? Electrons, protons, neutrons. Good job. So protons and neutrons live in the nucleus of the atom. And the electrons are in a kind of blurry cloud around the protons and the neutrons. And when atoms share their electrons, they make chemical bonds. And then they stick together to make stuff. And that's how atoms make molecules. And so all the little dots that you see around the screen represent atoms, OK? And so the green dots are nitrogen atoms. And in our atmosphere, nitrogen combines with another nitrogen to make a molecule called N2. So if you look at the little green dots all around, what you'll see is that they always hang out with another buddy the whole time, because they have a chemical bond with another buddy. The red guys that you see swirling around, those are oxygen atoms, OK? And you'll see that oxygens in the atmosphere always combine with another oxygen to make O2. This is what you all breathe, and this is what makes life possible on the planet Earth. You guys can see that there's greens, and then there's some reds, but there's a few different ones in there as well, aren't there? So you see some blues in there. Exactly. So there's blues that are actually attached to a red. That's water. Does anyone know what the chemical formula for water is? H2O, right? So water is two hydrogens bonded to an oxygen. And so if you look at the blues that are around here, you'll see that there's always two H's that are swirling around with a blue guy in the middle. There's one more I haven't covered. Has anybody seen it? There's some purples in there. Exactly. So the purples are carbons. CO2. Exactly. And so you'll see that the purple carbons are always followed around by two oxygens. OK? Now, now normally, all the atoms in the air, and all the atoms in everything, for that matter, are far too small for your eyes to see. And so let's just think about what it would be like in the air if you could see the atoms and the molecules. You would see oxygen, O2, nitrogen, N2, CO2, H2O all swirling around you in this room right now. And as you guys sit here in this dome, you all are literally being battered trillions and trillions of times per second by all the molecules in the air that are banging off of you right now. You can't feel it. And it's probably a good thing that you can't feel it, because if you could feel it, it would be like a bunch of pinpricks over your body all the time whenever you try to do anything. It's kind of a similar thing as when you're in a swimming pool, OK? Except that the molecules in the atmosphere aren't as dense, so there's not as many of them. If you were able to see the atoms and the molecules in the air around you, as you walk through the air, you would actually see that you create shock waves in the atoms and molecules as you walk through the space. And you would be walking through the space, and if your friends are walking through the space, your waves would pass through each other, and it would be an extremely beautiful thing to see. The air is actually behaves in a very similar way to how it would be in a swimming pool. But the difference is, is because the molecules are packed in closer for something like liquid water, you can see it with your eyes. Whereas when the molecules aren't packed in so close, like in the air, you can't see it. But in fact, it's those invisible molecules in the air around you that make life possible. One of the things that's really cool about this system is that we can actually simulate what it would look like if you could see yourself walking through the air. And we can simulate the shock waves that you would see. So why don't we turn on my energy field and make me repulsive? I just told you that as you guys walk around, the molecules in the air fly off of you, and they're battering you. And that's the same thing that happens now as I'm walking through this simulation. So what you're seeing on screen is actually extremely similar to the sort of thing that you would see if you could see all the molecules that you're surrounded by day to day. And so you see, 
As I move, I create shock waves through the space, right? And it's really fun, and you can play with this for a long time. Look, I can even do fancy stuff like capture them in my arms, right? And I can chest butt them to my friends if I want, okay? It's good fun. I want to give you guys five or ten minutes just to play with this right now, get a feel for it, and then I'll come back and tell you a little bit about how it works.